You're certain. Well, don't spook him. We're on our way. You'll never guess who just resurfaced. And this is for stealing from us. And this is for thinking you could get away with it. No. I want to know what he did with the money. So where is it? Where's what? The down payment we gave you. Or the guns you said you'd deliver. We'll settle for either, Mr. Hubbard. Hubbard. You made a mistake. The man that ripped you off was my brother. My twin brother. What type of imbecile do you take us for? Just paw him. Hey, hey, wait. Okay, I, I was kidding. I'll get you your guns. Kill me. You get nothing. But it'll let me sleep better at night. If I didn't get you guns, I'll get you guns, all right? I just need to make one phone call. That's all I'm asking. One call. What's he doing? He says he can get us guns. That's why we're here. You better trust him. The freighter leaves for Cork in 36 hours. We'll get guns aboard the next one. Our orders are to get guns aboard this one, Kevin. Kev, do you want to be the one who goes home and tells everyone how we don't have the guns and we don't have the money? Do you want to be the one to face that? This guy's lying to us again. What of it, Hubbard? Are you lying? I'm not lying. See? He's not lying. He won't let us down again. Because he knows that if he does, he'll be taking a bullet. Right here. You got a phone I can use?
Now what? Now I drive inside. I meet with a supply sergeant. If all goes well, I drive out with six cases of guns. You drive in there. I gotta do this alone. Out of the question. He's not gonna want to deal with people he doesn't know. Wherever you go, we go. Hey. Then you might as well just shoot me right here and now. Call him and tell him there's been a change in plans. You don't just change plans with this guy. How long will it take? 10, 15 minutes. Do it. You wouldn't want to give me another down payment, would you? Just a thought. People go to gas stations for directions. I know, I, I did that. Three of them. The first two, they didn't speak any English, and the, and, and the other guy, he didn't know where it was. You go back out the way you came, turn right. Hang on, I'm gonna write it down this time. Um, hey, Brian. Um, let's see, I know I got, got a pen in here somewhere. Back out the way you came. Back out the way. Back I came. out the way you came. Turn right. Hubbard. Why are we trusting someone named Hubbard? I mean, that's English, isn't it? Yeah, that's his real name. Oh, no, there's a reassuring thought. Here it comes. Turn right and park up there in the street. Come on. Question. Who are you guys? British intelligence. British intelligence. 
Keeping an eye on the Belfast Four? Actually, uh, Mr. Hubbard, is it? They're from London, Derry. Or Derry, as they let you consist on calling it. And we're not here to watch them. We're here to shut them down. Preferably by having them arrested for possessing a large quantity of very photogenic illegal weapons. Footage of which is bound to make the evening news. You want publicity? Yes. It's our belief that the more the IRA is seen as a terrorist organization, it truly is, the less likely you Americans will be to give it your sympathy, or even more important, your money. And now, thanks to you, we have a way to achieve our goal. We supply you with the guns, you deliver them. The local authorities move in, the incident makes international headlines, we go home, you go home. They go to prison. Everybody's happy. I appreciate you saving my life. I appreciate you, uh, buying me lunch. I can never repay the favor. Oh, you can do so. Now. They think I double-crossed them twice. If they see me again, they're gonna kill me and ask questions later. We understand. Agent Ridley and I are disappointed, of course. Very disappointed. So, we are packaging you for delivery to your four erstwhile friends. Rather like Christmas, but you can bloody well forget about the peace and joy part of it. Care to reconsider, Mr. Hubbard? Else to play on that thing. Sounds like music for a funeral. Well, you never know, do you? Turns off. Or I'll be using the damn thing for target practice. Well, it'll be the last target practice you ever do. Stop it, the both of you. We aren't here to fight each other. No. We're here to buy guns. We don't seem to be doing that too well, do we? We'll get the guns or we won't. The important thing is we've got a long war ahead, probably twice again as long as the one that we've already had. And the last thing we need is to be biting at each other's throats. Besides, I like the music. Just imagine it playing at some Brit's funeral. You're right. That's a pleasant thought. That and putting a bullet to Mr. Hubbard's head. I like that. Our pipes playing at a Brett's funeral. It's not going to be enough to calm them down. The bows wound harder than a $2 watch. Yeah, they'll be fine. As soon as we find another place to buy the guns. If we do. You sound like you could use a little calming yourself. All I need is the smell of Irish air again. Got no argument with you there. No problem with the air. It doesn't have a taste of salt in it. Or a pub that sells more beer than ale. <laughs>